Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dinesh Tatia and uh, today we are going to see the for loop, uh, the patterns inside the for loop. But uh, before that, I want to just add uh, uh, some uh, basic concept uh, that uh, how can we see the palindrome uh, again. Uh, I have explained uh, the palindrome in the detail, but uh, there is one more method from which we can find out palindrome very easily. So I will uh, uh, show you in the short, uh, in a in a few seconds okay so suppose uh, uh, this is my variable a and it has the same integer value 1 2 3 4 5 okay now as we have seen that uh, uh, we are taking the value 1 by 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 by 1 we are uh, taking the value by dividing by 10 and then we update uh, on the other variable and that's way we uh, that's how we are getting the reverse value okay but there is one more method in which we can do. There is an indexing method. If you know that in the slicing, in the slicing we have done this thing that if you do this minus one. Uh, okay, sorry, of list. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so if you do. Integer is not good. Hmm. Okay. So suppose uh, you have a string. Okay. Suppose you have a string. So and you have to reverse the direction. So this is how you can do it. Okay. Suppose I have uh, Dinesh. Let me show you. So a of zero is D. Okay. And a of uh, minus 1 is h. So suppose if I take, uh, if I do this, see, this reverse. So if I say d is equal to this one, uh, print if, okay, so print b. Now if I say that uh, a is equal to level, okay and b is equal to a uh, d is uh, a of colon minus 1 that is reverse okay now if if a is equal to b then print palindrome okay else print it's not a palindrome. Okay. Uh, sorry. In the quotes, we have to write palindrome. So, to understand this concept, you have to go to the my video on the, the slicing part. Okay. Uh, in which I have explained in the list, the, uh, uh, the video in which I have explained the list. There I have explained the slicing also. Uh, there you will find out that how this is useful. This uh, double colon minus one. How it gives the reverse uh, 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 the value in the reverse order. Okay. So this is how we can find out the palindrome also. That method I have shown you by dividing by 10 and multiplying by 10. That's a large huge method. It's a, it's a very complicated method. But uh, by this you can also find out. But the condition is you want a string here. You, uh, it should be string okay so for the string we can find out this way and for the integer we can uh, find out the earlier method from the earlier method okay hope you uh, this palindrome is clear to you okay now okay now we are seeing the pattern okay uh, let me show you what is mean by pattern okay so there are different methods Actually, pattern is uh, the thing which we get from playing with the loops. Okay, if we play with the loops, okay, then we will get the pattern. Uh, the pattern is like uh, this one, or uh, uh, you can say this one. This is uh, another pattern, okay, or uh, this is uh, the pattern. This is the pattern 
or uh, this is the pattern okay so these are the different patterns uh, which we can get by using the for loop okay which we can get using the for loop or while loop okay why pattern is important pattern is important because with the help of this pattern you can the uh, uh, understand the logic uh, behind this and you you will understand that how to use the for loop and how to apply the logic in this uh, loop so that you will get the uh, desired output when you will uh, when you will use in the uh, means uh, in some uh, complicated programming if you required uh, that uh, high level of knowledge of this uh, loop so you have to work hard on that and you have to practice regularly so that you can get uh, the hold of uh, this whole method okay so for that you need to understand the pattern okay so before going to the pattern i will explain you one more thing print okay uh, i will uh, explain the utilization of print letter in this uh, loop but uh, i'm just giving you the overview of the print uh, so you know that print is a function okay print print is function which is uh, uh, like uh, uh, it's an inbuilt function print is an inbuilt function okay uh, which is helpful to print something print the output or like that but how print is made up okay when you uh, uh, when you explore the print okay when you stretch it so you will get that there is an value then it's a separator and then it's an end okay what it means it means that print has value like 1 2 3 4 5 suppose i am printing print 1 2 3 4 okay so my output is 1 2 3 4 okay suppose this is my output now how it works this value is 1 2 3 4 okay and this separator you can see the separator has a space so this space between 1 and 2 okay this space between 1 and 2 is this separator that is space that's why we are getting print suppose it is at the rate so output will be a at the rate 2 at the rate 3 at the rate 4 okay so this separator so this uh, separator is what the separator is separator means uh, uh, it separate the values okay it separates the values in the print and this end end means after four after four this backslash n backslash n means uh, new line okay backslash n is new line so whenever print uh, function get execute so whenever i use print one two three four so my output is one two three four separated and it comes to the new line directly because end is uh, backslash n which gives me new line so whenever i click print okay whenever i use uh, this function print uh, it gives me a value separated by space and and value that is backslash n with the new value okay this is how inbuilt function print is made of okay do remember this because this will be helpful in our coming patterns lectures okay now how can we make the pattern let me take you to the Jupyter notebook. Okay. So the one way is to make the pattern is print. Then uh, print. Okay. 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 This is the uh, print. Okay. Now here is the pattern. Enjoy. Here is the pattern. But there is some issue. The issue is that we are repeating print again and again. Okay, suppose uh, this is three lines. Suppose you want a hundred line of uh, design now pattern something. Okay, you want to make uh, some photos, some uh, roses or some uh, uh, means you want to make some creativity. Okay, with a pattern. So you cannot uh, rely on this uh, print only. You need the loop. Okay, so that uh, uh, that iterates again and again. Now, for understanding this, uh, you have to bifurcate everything. How you can do that? Let me explain you. Okay. So for that, you need to, uh, suppose you need to print uh, this star pattern. This simple pattern you want to print. Okay. 
now make this uh, hmm okay make this pattern so here star you need separate uh, every star one to another okay so here how many rows rows is equal to one row is equal to two row is equal to three okay so my uh, so uh, uh, yes so my star goes to one two three so what i will say for i in for i in range for i in range one two three so i can say zero to two print star now see if i do for i in range zero to two print star let me take you to the jupyter notebook so i can explain you so for i in range okay zero comma two print star see now zero one uh, sorry no oh, sorry 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 okay now now you can see that star see first of all you can see that star is coming one two three it means in three lines in three row it is coming not uh, uh, adjacent to one another why it is not coming adjacent to one another because there is an backslash n because there is an backslash n at the end that's why it is going to the new line to print the star okay my output is my output is star 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 because at the end of the print statement there is a backslash n which gives me the new line which gives me the new line okay so that's why we are getting star in three rows row is equal to 1 2 and 3 okay hope you have understood this so now we are getting this value okay we have let me show you so we have got these three okay we, okay now this one we got this value now our focus is this this one okay now you can see that now you can see that this is row and this is column c is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 okay now we have repeated row wise now we have to repeat column wise okay you have repeated you have uh, used the iteration row wise okay one iteration is completed now there is repetition in the column wise also now see whatever you are doing in the row uh, row side there is also same thing is going on the uh, column side that three two one here is one two three here is also one two three okay like one two three understood what i am saying hmm? here also you have uh, one here is uh, two uh, sorry here is three here is two here is one okay so here also loop is uh, going on there are uh, the loop is going in two direction one and two so we need two loops understood we need two loops because there are in two direction our iteration is going on one is in the row direction and another one is the column direction so you know uh, for i is okay that is for the row now you have to make one more loop for uh, for column okay understood hope you have understood what i am saying that again i am explaining to you let me explain you again in a very uh, short form that there are okay now this is my pattern okay now you can see that here my row is there in for which i am using the loop to print one two three but here also there is a loop the, uh, this column okay that one two three okay this is for the row this is for the column so here also loop is uh, running so we have to use two loops here okay in a single loop you will print only row but uh, for the second row you will use column so the first uh, 
so the first loop which we are going to use is for the row for i in range for i in range 0 to 3 okay so for i in range 0 to 3 so 1 2 and 3 now now understood very clearly what i am saying is a very important uh, concept so we can say that uh, we have print uh, we have given the uh, this this uh, 0 to 3 is give the, me the space of 1 2 3 okay this three rows okay So now focus on this only. So this i, this i, this i gives me the space for three rows. Row is equal to one, row is equal to two, and row is equal to three. Okay. Now, now uh, this is created. Now I need column. So what I will say for j in range. Okay. Now for J in range. Now what will be the range of it? Now you can see that here my row is 1 and I have a single star. My row is 2, so I have double star. My row is 3, then I have a 3 star. Okay. So what will happen that in my first row, I have a single star. Okay. In my second row, I have a 2 star. So uh, what is... Uh, this uh, one this is my i value i value i value okay so i will use the range so range is 0 to i plus 1 okay so whenever my value is uh, uh, for 0 0 plus 1 0 to 1 my first print star okay so what will happen here uh, Goes to, we will go to the Jupyter Notebook now to explain you in the detail. Okay, then I will uh, take the screenshot of it and uh, we'll uh, go one by one so that you can understand it clearly. But hope you have understood the concept. Okay, that is more important to you to understand the concept and the detail of uh, everything because without getting into the detail, you will not understand. Something will get missing only then uh, if you will not go into the detail. Okay, so range. 0 to 2 perfect for j in range 0 to i plus 1 okay now print star oh see why it is coming like that because the end value is uh, the end value okay uh, just a second. So it's three. Hmm. So now why it is coming like that? It is coming like that one by one. You can see that the uh, first one, second one, third one. Because here at the end of the print, uh, end is end is backslash n means getting the new value. So we are changing the uh, that thing. So we will use end is equal to space. Now you can see, you will get here. Now you see, we have removed the backslash n. Okay. But we don't want this backslash n. Uh, we don't want uh, this in a adjacent to one another. We need, actually, actually we need uh, this uh, new line. So what we will do? So we need new line kab chahiye? When, we will new, uh, when we will need the new line. Whenever our function execute in the first row, it uh, directly goes to the second row. Okay, first row complete होने के बाद वो second row में उसको भेजने का है मुझे। तो मैं कैसे भेजूँगा? How will I send you? So what I will do that that during my first iteration of J loop, okay, during my first iteration of J loop, that zero to zero plus i, uh, i uh, uh, zero plus one that is one first time. My first iteration, okay, I will goes to the new line. How, we, how I will go to the new line? I will just do print. See. 
let me show you what happened here snipping tool snipping Hmm. Perfect. See what happened here that uh, for range of 0 to 3. Okay, I will separate this range to 0, 1, 2. This is my first iteration, first iteration, this is my second iteration, and this is my this is my third iteration. Okay. Now for J in for uh, this is for i now for j range is 0 comma i plus 1 what it means that when i is equal to 0 okay so my range will be 0 comma 0 plus 1 that is uh, that is 0 comma 1 for 0 comma 1 how many times my loop will uh, iterate only one time this uh, when it goes to 0 to 1 then it will iterate one time only so whenever my print will execute uh, okay whenever my print will execute the first time this one this first time okay this first time this j loop will get end j loop will get end because uh, range is for uh, that i want this iterate to one time only because range is one only so my j loop will end and it goes to here print and here you can see that print is empty okay print is empty means it has a no value it has no value sorry if it has no value then separate is also nothing but there is and but there is and and will bring you to the new line so here this print print gives you uh, take you to the new line and once this take you take me to the new line i will go for for loop to the i again okay then i am going to row number two i am going to row number two or range uh, zero to one means second iteration that is one okay now my i is equal to one so for my j range will become zero to one plus one that is two so my range will become zero to range is 0 to 2 means my uh, this my j loop will iterate two times that is 0 comma 1 okay so if my j loop iterate two times it it means it will print star two times okay uh, whenever now uh, after two times this will j loop will get end print will execute i will go to the new line then i will uh, execute iterate again for uh, uh, third iteration that is r is equal to 2 and here 0 comma 1 0, uh, sorry i plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so range will become 0 to 3 and my star will come and my loop will work three times so this is how we make the pattern hope you have understood this how we are making the pattern just you have to uh, uh, remember and whenever you get confused just use this method okay you will get the perfect answer okay you will get the answer okay try it by your own okay use your own logic and uh, find the solution for it uh, okay i will make some uh, more videos on the pattern there are some complicated patterns which we are looking into it but this uh, at that time i will go fast uh, but this is how this is what is the uh, concept of pattern okay Hope you have understood what is the pattern and how it is useful and how we can make the pattern. This simple pattern, you can see that this is a simple pattern, but this is not that much simple. There is a lot of uh, concept is involved in it. So remember how to use for loop, how to use uh, what's the use of print and uh, the syntax of print and how we can use the range of it. Okay. So I will make some more uh, videos on the pattern. Okay, in the next videos, we will look into that also. Okay, thank you guys.